Hey y'all, it's your girl Didi and you're watching the Didi Kosher. everybody as you know when I'm back in the house I have to like stay quiet more because people live here so excuse the mess this is what this video is for like excuse my hair because we about to get into this um whatever I didn't do what I do let me do it okay it's your girl Didi Ko if you went it's your girl Didi Ko if you ain't know and I'm always at the window no it's your girl Didi Ko and I'm all it's your girl Didi Ko Hey y'all, it's your girl Didi Cole. I don't remember my own intro right now. Oh my god. Hey y'all, it's your girl Didi Cole. If you ain't get that from the intro, and I'm always at a window if you ain't know. That took a very long time. So if you ain't know, I dyed my hair from roots to ends in January. And you can see the dye is back here now. It's been five months, so it's not that long. And then also I cut my edges in October. And here's where they are. They were right here. Now they're down here. So anyway, the content of this video. I don't know how to go about this rice water thing because I've looked up how people use it. And each and every video, there was a different use, a different method, and a different time they put their hair, in, like put rice water in their hair. So I'm going to make up my own routine with the rice water. And I do want growth. So by the time October comes and that silk press video come out from me, my hair will be like, you can't even see through a camera. Um, my hair has not been taken care of in the past two weeks. And I usually wash my hair every week, but this has been a very traumatic two weeks. This has been a very, um, eventful two weeks. And I just, I was on the verge of depression. I was like always wanting to sleep and I heard that's a sign of depression yeah it was to the point where I just I wanted to eat in my bed sleep in my bed watch TV in my bed sleep in my bed sleep 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 so now we about to do something we about to start grinding on these videos again like I've been doing I've been keeping up y'all and um the update on the Amber um install challenge should be like now because I started that challenge literally if this not this week, last week of last year, I started that challenge and this is the hair growth, but that's a whole nother video. This is the rice water video. So how I'm going to go about this rice water. I'm going to do my usual routine, the amber routine. And then after, um, after I do the blow dry part, I think, you know how I spray the water again after I blow dry my hair, I think that's what I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna put it in the roots and then you're not supposed to drench your hair in the rice water apparently so put it in the roots and then do it on top of that I don't do anything daily with my hair after I wash it I just wait till the next week to wash it again I keep looking over here thinking the camera is over here but it's the home button it's right over here hey guys so on a daily basis I'm going to use the rice water and I'm gonna see how it goes for me not in the span of days or in the span of months, but until the bag of rice is gone. I'm going to see what it does for me. So, yes, I'm going to prepare the rice every night and then use it the next day. Because fermented rice water is better than just regular old rice water. And then, you know, fermented is typically two to three days in the sunlight. But I don't got no place to prop it to do all that. So, um... I'm not going to say I'm not happy where my hair is now. It looks damaged and unhealthy right now. But it's just that, let me tell you, it's dirty. Um, But we just about to see. And I don't know why people are doing 5-day, 10-day challenges. Like, hair growth takes time. You're supposed to grow 2 inches every month. So, people are expecting to get their hair from here to there. Like, in, a, in 5 days? Let me know, sis, if that works out for you. Because I'm pretty sure that's not realistic. I'm going to be doing this for one year just like the amber challenge i'm gonna do this for one year so i've made the conclusion that i'm gonna stick with the amber routine so it's no longer a challenge it's now amber and Didi's routine because look baby look look at me okay 
let's keep that there and my edges have been growing since I've you know so also I'll trim my hair in another video but yeah so I'll just show you like I've shown this routine on my channel like my regular routine on my channel like three times so it'll just be a fast forward process and then a cut here cut there and then I'll come back when it's time to ch -ch 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 -ch. all right and um when it's time to ch -ch -ch, I'll tell you the process of what I did and I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make rice water at this point but um if you don't just stay around and I'll let you know I do a lot of this if you ain't know if you're new instead of visualization but whatever so on to the hair By the way, um, crap, it left me. I really hate that. Like, you be thinking and it really just, it just leaves you for real. Like, that's really crazy to me. Whatever. I, hopefully it comes back. If it doesn't, whatever. Okay, my hair routine video will be um, in the description box below, so go check that out, and I'll be back when it's time to apply the rice water and tell you how to use it. I remember what I wanted to say. It was more like, um, since it's like 6 p.m., 7, 7 p.m., um, the lighting will be changing throughout the video, so just want to forgive you for that. I mean just want to apologize for that forgive me for that you know this is something I always do so poor quality always here at your service so I want to put it out there that um I am about to anyway my mom's yelling at me but whatever um I am about to put I just washed my hair I'm about to put the hair mayonnaise in like I do in my routine and blow dry my hair and then that's when I'll come back just letting y'all know I'm putting the product in my hair before I put the rice water in my hair. Alright y'all, so my hair is dried. I just was under it for an hour. My front pieces are longer than any of the other pieces is because they go through a lot. I strain them. They're weaker. They don't really curl. They go through a lot of stretching. And I just realized while I was showering, my edges are going away again. You see how like the thickness starts back here. So I'm gonna stop doing like updos and stuff. And especially since I'm in the summer now. Like you look at this hair loss, bro. I'm not trying to be balding when I'm 40. I wanna have the long hair that I see in my future until I go. So <clears throat> here's my little bowl of rice water. It's gonna look milky. Okay, so I just poured rice in the bowl I can't give you no measurement I can't give you an estimate nothing and I filled it up with hot water yesterday and you press down in there so you can squeeze the rice and then it'll start getting cloudy like this and um people myself don't like the odor that comes with this so you always add a few drops of some rose oil, some argan oil, something, some oil that smells good. And it literally absorbs all of the smell. Like I put two drops and it was just like, no more rice. So, I have my spray bottle here. I'm going to pour it in this one. And I'm going to do it at the sink because I'm not really good at stuff like that. So, it is done. Um, you don't need a strainer unless you want, and it doesn't matter if rice get in here, rice can't fit through the spray tube, so whatever. I'm going to use this for the next two days because, like I said, I only did it last night, and they suggest you to throw it out towards the end of the third day or the fourth day. So, I've had this spray bottle for like three years. It's my friend. Alright, so once again, that's the rice. Um, it honestly could be any rice I was told. So brown rice, white rice, whatever. This is um white rice. Wow, that oil is really strong. I don't even smell the rice. Now, we all know I'm not a big fan of sections because I know how to do my hair now. But 
for this method, I'm gonna have to do sessions. Oh, look at that, I'm balding, y'all, right here. Yo, they've been through some things, and I planned on getting faux locks and box braids this summer. Dang, we've been through some things. Okay, so four sections. I'm not even gonna do that much. So this rice should last me a long time if I use one batch for three days straight in the big yeah, I'm gonna show you the back rice it's like three dollars at Walmart if that and this is two pounds of rice I wonder what enriched long grain rice whatever okay so they said don't drench the hair all right so first you put it in your roots And then you rub it in with your finger, t like, pads. Mmm, wow, it's got some, I probably put a lot of oil in here. I'm gonna do that for about a minute, I guess. I have this cut on my finger, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but y'all, I use tea tree peppermint uh, type of, Shampoo and conditioner, bro. That joint was stinging. And it's stinging right now, too. Alright. I'm pretty sure I created, like, dreads in my hair. And then, we're gonna put it at the ends of the hair. So, if y'all didn't know about my routine, I usually, after I dry my hair, soak it, like, with water. And then put the products in. But, um... Guess I'm not doing that anymore, so I guess I'll just do like, you know, the spritz of the rice water and then the products. So, if you didn't know, I'm adding as I am to my hair in Shea Moisture. I have no more oil, so I can't lock, lock in the moisture as much as I want, but that's the Shea Moisture there. I mean, that was the as I am and this is the Shea Moisture. And then I'm going to do the rest of the sections just like that. And, you know, the big, the front part of my hair is bigger than the back part. So I don't section evenly. Ah, that's going to take some getting used to not having a hair drenched. <laughs> or I could do it however I want to do it and not follow these YouTubers and see what happens. Look at them curls popping in my I feel like that's what I want to do. I want to drench it. Because I know there's other people that do it. I know I already put the products in, but y'all. I'm going to just cap it off with some As I Am Butter. Because it's the only way my hair lay. And I'm not finna put gel in my hair all the time. So hopefully the stuff lasts three days. And then I'll just do like the spritz here and there when it's like not the wash day. Like every other day. Like all the other days. You know what I'm saying. I'm starting to smell the rice a little bit. So... This is it. This is what I do with my hair every week. Um, it's not. It's only a long process because of the pre-shampooing, which is the combing out part that I showed you, and um, the, the the drying of the hair. Otherwise, it could literally literally be a 15-minute process with the, just washing your hair and then putting the products in and just air drying it. But like, yo. No, I have low porosity hair. You have to go through treatment. And I really hope there's some progress, y'all. So I'm going to keep this in the bottle, like I said, for the next two days. And I'm going to use it daily before I go to sleep. Um, I don't know if I want to go to sleep with a wet head every day. I'm going to use it before I go to sleep. And um, I'm not going to use as much as I did today. But, you know, in the scalp and just around the edges 
and we'll see what I'm looking like in a year, y'all. We'll see what I'm looking like by next month. June 15th. Let's see. But anyway, thanks for coming to the channel. Remember to go check out some other videos. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to me. Remember to put that bell notification on because your girl never know when she finna post. <laughs>